Highlands Motorsport Park for the final Australian GT race for the year. Really looking forward to a great weekend. I think all the stars have aligned for this race, for me in particular. We're here in New Zealand, driving a McLaren. We've got SVG at the, at the helm, and uh, you know I can't have a better setup, and I'll have no excuses not to come away with a good result this weekend. It's really awesome. I've been here once before, which was great. Um, Clark gave me a few tips the first time we came out, which was really cool. I'm excited to try and go faster this time. It's awesome to have some friends and family here. They've all come out to watch, and um, hopefully we can put on a good show. Cromwell put on some great weather, so it's going to be an awesome weekend. We just did a track walk before, and it's magnificent. Um, really excited with the new car. Just try it out this weekend, see what I've got to do differently. It's an amazing track. We were back here for the second time to do a bit of a track drive yesterday. Um, now getting the cars all warmed up. The track is amazing. There's a few changes from last year which will make it a little bit more interesting, but a lot of fun, definitely. We've had a, a, a complete rebuild since the Townsville disaster, but the car will be a, a much better car now. We didn't get to test before we came here, so this first practice will be a bit of a test, but it'll be good. It's a fantastic backdrop and a fantastic looking circuit. Awesome facility, so looking forward to going for a drive. I mean, I heard so much about this place that everyone that came here last year, and Tony and Clark obviously love the place, so um, looking forward to going for a skid and experiencing it for myself. Certain corners I've driven around in the world before. Um, me and Dean did a track walk yesterday and discussed a few things, had a plan of attack, and kind of when I was out there on circuit, I just followed through and executed our plan of attack, and it was the right theories for the corners. Yeah, clearly we're still in the hunt for the championship. We've got a job ahead of us, but we just like throughout the whole year, we're just going to keep pushing, push, pushing, and see what happens in the end. Yeah, we're pushing really hard in the first few sections, and especially Matty because he hadn't been here before. Car was under steering and a bit tricky, but hopefully we've got it all on out for qualifying, which is on in about half an hour, and we can give it a good shake and see if we can't put this little car on hold for challenge pass. <laughs> teammate into the wall, uh, you know, the 71 car with Dean and James in it, you know, are pushing us all the way and have all season, so being on pole in trophy class for us is what we, we needed today. You know, we, we actually had a real chance of being outright pole, considering we're a trophy class car, that's pretty good. It was a good um, little stash way to qualify, we went straight away and for the lap in, it was pretty good lap, I think I, I think I could have had you know, one or two more tents and full credit to Airbus Motorsport, they've done an awesome job all day. Never been here before and the car was, you know, on, on rails basically for qualifying, it's D-Day tonight, it's when the when the real, you know, real racing happens and um, hopefully we'll bring up this championship. Of course I'll fight to the death, like Darth Vader, but, um, you know, all things being equal. The McLaren was unfortunate, the oil pressure drive pump shaft broke, but there's a new bit coming from Melbourne tonight. The guys are driving to Christchurch, meet the plane at midnight, driving back 5 o'clock in the morning, putting the thing back together and hopefully rejoin the race tomorrow, which I think, and the good bit about that story is that the CEO of McLaren GT is up there taking the engine to bits to put it in and that's a real measure of commitment from McLaren and I'm very proud of him for doing that. So I think all the cars will start the race. Um, we'll do the couple of races tomorrow, that'll be cool and then on Sunday she's a big one-on-one. -on -one.